Hi everyone, this is SB Frequency Events. My name is Adi Dunke Gumina and today we're going to be talking about the XR XR mixers and we're going to be learning how to connect the mixer to the Xedit software with a laptop and we're going to be using two methods to connect this particular mixer for this video. So what we're going to be using is the access points method and using a router. As you can see here, I have a router connected to my mixer already. And also I have a microphone here just to test the input signal once we connect our mixer. So let's get right into it. For this mixer right now, there's an inbuilt Wi-Fi that has been built with this mixer and it comes with the XR mixers, XR12, XR18, XR16 mixers. So in order to use the inbuilt Wi-Fi that is here, I have to come to this area where I have a switch. So I'm going to switch it to the place where it's written access point over here. So once I do that, then that means I'm telling the mixer that I want to use the inbuilt Wi-Fi for connection. So once I've done that, what I have to do next is to go into my um, laptop, which is, I'm, I'm actually using a Mac laptop. If you're using a Windows laptop, then you have to go to the website and download the um, driver of the Excel mixer also. And apart from that, you have to also download the software also for the laptop. So right now I'm using my Mac laptop and I'm going to go to my laptop and connect to the internet, which is here. And once I've done that, I'm going to go into Google and I'm going to type in Beringa XA app download. So once I do that, I go into search and once I click on that, it brings me here. So by doing that, I can see products as my laptop loads. Under here, I come to software and on the software, I look for the X hair edits. So right now I have to look for the X hair edits that is for PC. Sorry, I have to look for the X hair edits that is for Mac. Now, if I'm using a PC, which is a Windows laptop, then that would mean that I'm going to be using the X hair edits which is um, PC, if I'm using a Windows laptop. So that's what I'm going to download. And if I'm using that of Mac, then I'm going to be downloading the XR edits of Mac. So right now I click on, I agree to the above terms, then I click on download. And this starts downloading my app for me. So I have to go to my download folder after this has been downloaded. And when I come to my folder that has been downloaded, I have to extract the app. And once I extract it, then I am going to, I'm going to have this app over here extracted here. So once I have this, this um, software, the XA edit opened up here, what I need to do is I need to copy that file and paste it in my applications folder so that I can install the app. So control V and I have the app installed already in my applications folder, which is over here. As you can see the X here edits. So once I'm done with the installation of this, so I go into my um, launch pad and I open the XA software. So right now you can see that I have the software installed already on my laptop and it says device not connected because I haven't connected yet to my um, XA mixer. I just downloaded and installed the software on the laptop. So the next step I have to do now is I have to go into my, my um, Wi-Fi of the laptop and I have to open my X, I have to connect to 
the XR18 3C6417. So that is the Wi-Fi client for my XR. So once I click on that, right now it shows me an error to, it pops up and says connect. So I click on connect. So once I do that, it now asks, do you want to transfer the current settings? So I will go, I'm, I'm going to select mixer to PC because I want the settings on the mixer to be transferred to my PC. Now, the only time when I will pick PC to mixer is if I want to, if I have actually done my editing on the app offline and I now want to transfer all my settings on the mixer offline on my app or my software into the mixer. So, but right now I want to transfer all the settings of the mixer to my Mac laptop. So I'm going to pick mixer to PC. So once I do that, it shows transferring parameters, meaning it's transferring. So once I have that, as you can see, my um, X uh, is actually connected. Now, and to test that, you can see once I top, tap on the microphone, the microphone is connected to input 16, as you can see here. And as I talk to the mic, check one, two, check one, two, you can see the signal on my mixer showing me that I am connected to the mixer and I can do all my controls on the mixer. Now, another area you need to look out for is if you're using this mixer for the very first time, then um, connecting it will be easier because we've not set up any password or anything. But if you're going to have to, you can actually set up your password by going into the setup tab we have here. So once I click on it, I then come to access points, which is AP. So over here, you can see that I have the settings of the of the access point Wi-Fi. So in this place, I can change what the name of this Wi-Fi network is going to be by editing here. I can also change the password. And right now I have the password here written specs. So I can change the password to SB frequency, whatever name it is you want to use for your password. And once that is done, you have to click on apply for that to take effect. So right now I'm not going to do that because if I do that, it's going to disconnect me because the password has changed. Also, if you want to change the settings with an external router, you also have to do that settings and we're going to get right into that. So as you can see, when I'm on the connection tab, it shows me here that my XR mixer is connected and the status here states that it is connected. So the next connection settings that we're going to go into is when you have to use your router to connect. Okay, so right now for me to connect from the mixer through my router right here, you can see I have a router connected. I have to go to the front panel here and switch this button or this switch to the last part, which is written Ethernet. And I have a CAT6 cable connected from this port into my router. So right now I have this on the Ethernet settings here. And right now I have, you can see that this is beeping, showing you that there is a connection between this and my router. So after I have done that, the next thing I have to do is to go to the Wi-Fi of my laptop and connect to the um, router. Here right now, this um, router I have here is the Spectrenet, which is here. So once I click on this and I put in the password of the router, for those of you who don't know how to use a router, um, for every router, once it's in reset mode, 
the um, password that you're going to use is always written underneath the um, the um, router and the IP address that you're also going to use to connect is also written underneath it. For this particular one, the um, IP address that we have is 192.168.1.1. So that's what I'm going to type in on the Google Chrome once I am connected to the um, Wi-Fi here with the password that is written underneath the router. So once I've done that, for me to be able to log into this router, this router has been reset to default mode. So um, the um, password here is user user. Yes, yeah, so we're in. So right now um, I'm going to go into the um, LAN settings so that I can see what the settings of this laptop is of this router is so that I'm sure that it's the right settings before I connect to my XR app. Now, why do we use the router, an external router? So there are places where you are in a congested place where you need a Wi-Fi that is stronger than the inbuilt Wi-Fi of the mixer. So in such a case, you would have to use an external router so that you have a stronger connection and you don't have an instance where there's um, disconnection of between your mixer and the software that you're using to control the mixer. Now, in most cases, if you still have some level of congestion or um, disconnection from time to time, you it's always safer to connect this LAN cable directly into your laptop. So that way you can bypass the um, router and use your LAN, which is your Ethernet cable, directly into your laptop. So that way you're not going to have to use the Wi-Fi. But for this video, we're going to what we're trying to depict is how to use an external router to connect to the Excel mixer. So right now I am actually logged into the app. The um, control for the router. So I am now going to go into my XR mixer. So right now it's asking me to connect because I have connected my laptop to the router. So to connect that I come in to connect and I click mixer to PC and as you can see it's transferring the parameters and as you can see my microphone actually works right now so showing me that i have connected now another thing you have to check in case if you're having trouble with connection all you need to do is to go into setup and under your lan settings that is where you are going to see what ip address your mixer is set up on and what subnet marks and what gateway gateway it is now reason why you have to check this is because we have instances whereby the um, DHCP server has been set to a different IP address. Now, if this is set to a different IP address, if you see on the router setting, we have a start IP address and the end IP address. So this is set to 192.168.1.1 and is ending at 254. So that means that for me to connect to this router, I mean to use numbers that are in between 1 to 254. So that way I can connect as many devices to the router. That's the essence of the router. But in this case right now, I actually chose the um, settings of the IP address for the mixer to be .10, which is 192.168.1.10. So that way it is within the IP range of my router so that my router we actually be able to communicate with the mixer. So that's the essence of making sure. Then also my subnet max here shows that it's 255.255.255.0. So also I have to make sure that my subnet max here too has the same number that I have over here. So right now I'm sure that you can see how to connect your um, mixer, your XR mixer to the router. And it's that simple. And also, you can also use the same, the same method for any of the XR mixers, the XR12, XR16, 
and XR18. So um, right now, I hope that you enjoy this video. Yeah, we're going to have more coming your way. And also, if you want to learn more about um, anything about audio from the basics of audio engineering to the intermediate course to live audio setup, digital mixers, um, tuning and optimization, sound system design, any course you can think of and the broadcast also. All our informations are on all our social media platforms and you can contact us also on WhatsApp and also if there's any question you have or any topic you want us to address or anything you want us to um, do a video on, you can mention it in the comment section. And also, if you have any questions about any other thing regarding this that we've done, you can also comment in the comment section. Please like, share and um, tell your friends, tell your fellow colleagues about this video. So we have more coming your way. This is Esri Frequency Events. Thank you. Bye.